so it's nine o'clock we're just at the international airport pretty excited we're gonna be on the plane for like nine hours not the best but that's okay the first coffee of the day latte here say good morning Alex. good morning yeah. cappuccino here cappuccino. nice chocolate um chocolate dusty Let's sauce get that in yeah there. Not bad, got our breakfast from the airport. <laughs> I got my muesli, you know, trusty old muesli, and Alex got his smashed avo. What do you reckon? When I order smashed avocado, I like two pieces of bread. Yeah, you like two pieces. Well, got a bit stingy with that one, but that's but all right. But it looks good, it looks yeah, good. It's all right. But I can always order another one. Yeah, you can. It's really interesting when they present muesli on a plate. It's kind of, I don't know about it. I mean, I prefer a bowl, but I'm a bit of a stickler to routine there. What do you reckon? Yeah. We're just gonna get some Starbucks because that's very Tokyo, you know, not really, <laughs> but we need coffee, so. Check that out, guys, an Italian restaurant. Looks pretty good. Pizza, bar. Oh, should we just get the coffee from the vending machine? Boss, hmm, tempting. Oh, they don't have Picari Sweat. That's like my favorite. Hmm, wonder what that's like, cranberry refresh. Not bad. Gonna try a few of these. Is that kind of looks like Picari sweat? Not really. Check it out, guys. Shoes made. It's kind of Aussie. Shoes made. All right, getting onto the main road here. Where is the coffee? At? We are we need it. Oh, we got the Starbucks. Um, we, need I, Starbucks. we need Starbucks. You know, me and Alex always watch Caleb Snell's channel, and we love how he calls it Starbies. So I've never heard that term before, but totally at Starbucks right now in Japan. Let's go. Well, chocolate mousse latte. Okay. Yeah, I okay. just get yeah. a cold brew coffee. Top of the coffee. Just cut through the um the strength of the cold brew. Give it a go. hotel for literally 19 days so it'll make it nice and easy but I'm gonna just switch out of my handbag just because you know I want to be bougie so I've got my Hermes Gypsy Air here and I've just added a strap and a little charm and then inside I have I'm using this as my cosmetics case just has my lipstick in there and you know a bit of touch up this is from Miniso I just bought it randomly because when I withdrawed some yen when I was in Australia I just needed something to put it in so yeah this is just uh six dollars from Miniso does the job it's my Hermes <laughs> Kelvie um just a reusable bag in case we go shopping or if it rains I can put my bag in there and then I have to take my phones um that's my passport cute right I got this at I think I got this at a Disney store last time I went to Japan and I think that's about it I don't know I might take my Chanel hand cream just because my hands been really dry and yeah I want that to heal because it looks like chocolate sauce but it's a scab how gross is that guys like oh I keep thinking people think I have really dirty hands which I mean 
Anyways, why should I care what people think, right? So that should be a good bag today. And guys, um, because it's been, I've been at the airport, my skin is not the best and my eyes have been constantly watering. So I've been putting on eyeshadow, but it's not really, it's not really stay. You know, when you put on makeup, it's just like not working out. So I just added a bit of red lipstick. This is uh, some Chanel. Uh, let me just get the color for you guys, just in case you're wondering. So the color is um, Rouge Allure Camellia Pupre. Uh, yeah, Alex is just charging his phone. Oh, that's my new M MC Wallace. I can't remember the brand, but I'll get into that later because um, I was inspired to buy that bag from Heli Catwalk City and it's been so good. So I'm loving that for travels. Um, yeah, it's a bit of a mess here. It sounds a bit windy, but we're in, you know where, Parachute. exciting guys oh yes pump it up let's get into it <laughs> it's still so early so yes. not everyone oh, yeah, yeah. nothing oh that's open what is it it's here? 10 o'clock got mcdonald's oh, what's the McFlurry's yeah let's check out the mcflurries me here's the flavors oh, okay here's the flavors guys Matcha frappe, we've got the choco, choco frappe, mango smoothie, green smoothie, or oh, macaroons. Oh, cool. That's cool. Uh, so, we're just going to shop around now. So, as I said, I haven't been here for a few years, so I hope you enjoy it. Oh, yeah, I should totally get that. That's really cute. Actually, I think I'm gonna go shopping, guys. Uh, I just can't help myself. I think I need to get this for my hair. These are so pretty. How much is that? Five fifty. It's like uh, five bucks. Yeah, I think I'll buy it. This is really cute. So I bought this cool bow for my hair and of course another scrunchie because I'm addicted to scrunchies lately and I like oh <laughs> I like the volume in this and I like the brown shade, the chocolate brown. So we're gonna head on now guys. I think we gotta find Sanrio if it you know I gotta go there obviously. Oh, <laughs> Should we check that out? I don't know. I feel like it's already in Australia. Check that out later, I think. Hey guys, we found our first luxury bag stall. Check it out. Good value. You've got a Birkin, you got a classic. Louis Vuitton. We've got some Rolex. Okay, check out the pricey here, guys. So you, oh, this is a Diana bag. So it's four nine nine zero zero zero. So what is that? Like five thousand Australian? About. Not bad. It's in really beautiful condition. You can see the very lustrous lambskin. Got these uh, Damier Ebene bags here. 
And look at this gorgeous. This is a uh, from the 90s, it looks like. It's got the gold hardware. It's this beautiful cherry red. It has a little bit of a mark there. 7000 Much more affordable than the current price point. I think it's what? 15000 now in Australia for a classic. So, you know, you get a vintage one. Half price, not bad. Then you can claim the tax rack as well. Not a bad buy. Mm -hmm. That's a cute little bag. I've never seen that before. It's not too bad the price either. One two nine zero zero zero. Not bad. It's quite cute. This one is a little expensive because it's not too far off the retail to be honest. And it's you can see the vaquette is a little bit worn. Oh, this is a quite a nice pink one down here. Don't mind that one. What do you guys think? is oh this is awesome it looks like chef leather i think that's what is that fifteen thousand dollars i think my gpc air is it how much is it yeah looks like a kelly 28 not a bad price um chef is super luscious i know i keep saying that but it really does have like quite a sheen to it it's quite nice actually don't mind that and what do you have down here a multicolor oh that's quite expensive for that seven seven three five Ooh, but that's you know rare collectible. Oh, we got a garden party here. Garden party 36. Looks like a similar color to mine. I have one in Vert Armand, but that's a slightly bigger size there. And got the Fendi. A bit expensive as well, but not bad. So a bit of a mixed bag in this store. Mixed bag of bags. Yeah. Guys, so this is some rainbow cheese shop. I've noticed a few shops with that. I'm assuming it's just tasting like normal cheese, but they put food dye in it. It looks cute, right? Very Instagrammable. So, uh, you got a corn dog. You got the rainbow sandwich. Oh, actually, I really want to try these candy grapes. Can we please try that? that I think that looks really good. You can try that, and I'll try the cheese okay, rainbow. Yeah, I'll, I need the candy grapes. <laughs> what is that? Oh my gosh! Look at this long, long, longest cheese hot dog. Do you want that? I want everything. Uh, Oh, big kebab. That's very Melbourne, Chapel Street. <laughs> what do you have down here? Acrylic stand goods. Fancy heart, fancy bear. Oh, looks like some sort of cafe. Hey, look at these drinks. Oh, it's like little smoothies. Look at that, so pretty. Oh my gosh, so cute. There's the strawberry shop, yes. Strawberry fetish. Oh, okay. Strawberry fetish. I really want to try that guy. They've got these like really yummy strawberries on a stick and I think they've just covered it in some like melted sugar or something. So I really want to try it. Gosh, should we try it now or later? Oh, smells like fairy floss around here. Oh guys, so I think there's Paris crepes and then there's also this other chain called Marion crepes and I'm obsessed with like the plastic food that they put as the display. It is just, I love it. Anyway, let's have a look. So you can get sweet crepes mainly, but they do <laughs> offer the savory option as well because I know not everyone's into sweet. So they're pretty good. I've had crepes in Paris as well. It just depends where you go. Some are good, some are like okay. But I think these are just super cute and very Instagrammable. So if you are into sweets, I would uh, say go for it. Might try that later. I'm really, actually, I really want the strawberries though, to be honest. Oh, there's like some taro flavor. That looks pretty good. Check it out. Some like cheesecake. We've got the ice cream. Hey guys, so this is bubble tea place and you can see them hand making the pearls. That's pretty cool because I'm not usually a fan of boba. I don't know, I feel like it gives me a stomach ache, but this would probably be like the legit thing, right? I don't know, I'm not a connoisseur of bubble tea, but it looks legit, seriously. <laughs> What is that? 
Harajuku candy. Okay guys, we've got to calm down because I found Sanrio, so let's check it out. Oh no, it doesn't open till 11 o'clock. Guys, we're too early. It's 10.24, so we have to walk around a bit more before we can get in there. And I'm pretty sure the Pom Pom Purin Cafe is there too. I don't know if the food's the best, to be honest, but it is extremely cute. So, Hey guys, I found my graffiti sticker. Jesse Star 1. See, meant to be here, guys. Is this is like a little Pikachu store. I don't think it's open yet. I think they just have a collab. Uh, opens 11. Oh, way too early. Oh, we go. Oh, I think they're actually just opening now. Oh, yeah. Three minutes. Maybe we'll come back in a few minutes. Don't want to be one of those customers, you know. First, oh, first customer. now. I want them though, I'll upgrade. That's oh, my favorite color. You get How much? I don't know. Oh, 150. Oh, that's actually cheaper, isn't it? Yeah. Because we get a tax back because we got our passport. Yeah. Oh, how cute is that miniature shoe? I died. What the heck is that? Is, can we buy that? I think that is way too cute. Hey, I really like that white shoe. The stretchy one behind it. It looks really comfortable. Hey guys, I've got to be completely honest. My iMovie like can't handle more than like a few videos per time and I put 90 videos into one iMovie project and it just could not handle it so I'm breaking up my vlogs into little sections so tomorrow I'm going to be visiting Coach Topia Pop-Up which should be really cool and I'm going to visit some more shops so stay tuned for that tomorrow uh thanks for watching my short little vlog today love Takashita Street and more to come